Here lies a town in a valley. Not an American valley. A valley where Nazis ruled. A valley of death. No secret weapon hit it. No mysterious ray or rocket killed this place. Just firepower. The firepower of American war production. Your production. Fighting to free this town and every town enslaved by the swastika. Fighting here so that no American town will ever look like this. This heap of rubble and broken bodies was another impregnable fortress of the Hun. Until the force of your weapons drove the enemy out. Wrong time, is it? Ah, uh, it's that new gun the artillery has. The one just sent over. That's terrific. All our guns are good. You don't have to tell me, brother. I know. Yeah, now you know. But back home, you didn't know. You're not kidding. Well, that's what I mean. Nobody can understand what firepower is just by reading about it in the headlines. You have to see it. That's why I wish they could see all this back home. Listen, it's better they don't see it. Just let them keep on making the guns. That's a dumb thing to say. They got a right to know how good the guns are, so they'll keep making them good. Sure, tell the workers back home what my carbines can do. Yeah, tell them about my water. My tank. Our 240. Show them this town. Show them the battle. Show them what firepower is. OK. We'll tell them and show them. Listen, you war workers back home. Here it is straight. Superior firepower wins battles and saves lives. The more guns we have, the less lives we lose. You don't have to take our word for it, we'll show you. Like they showed us back in the States at training camp. One day we marched into the post theater to be shown the effect of our weapons. What each weapon could do for us when our lives depended on it. Here's how they showed us firepower. Firepower is the light carbine. That can knock a hole through the helmet of a Hun sniper. Firepower is the M1 Garand. That can pick off the same Nazi even if he doesn't show his snout. Because this rifle can send a shaft of steel right through 12 inches of solid oak to make a leaky bucket out of any sniper's head. And do the same thing through four inches of concrete wall. Five times faster than the fastest rifle is the Browning Automatic. One gun that can free five riflemen for forward maneuver by holding their position on the line with the same amount of flying lead. And still faster firepower. 30 caliber machine gun. Water cool to fire 600 hot slugs a minute. Dragon teeth that can cut down a tree like a buzzsaw. Air cooled model, 30 caliber. Firepower to splatter a three mile area like a hailstorm. For Nazis hiding behind mountains two miles away, high angle firepower, the 60 millimeter mortar. <laughs> 81 millimeter mortar, laying down smoke to blind the enemy and screen our advance, pinpointing 18 hunks of hell a minute. Bazooka. Rocket power to kill a tank. Little poison. 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. The pillbox pulverizer. Fifteen concrete mixes a minute. And the 57. Smashing pillboxes twice as big in half the time. twisting steel and concrete into Nazi tombstones. Firepower is the 105 howitzer, infantry bulldog, to put the bite on roadblocks three miles away. <laughs> 
Firepower is Long Tom, 155 rifle, that can lift the roof of a German blockhouse 15 miles away. Long Tom, bringing ventilation to stone and steel walls as thick as any in Hitler's fortress Europe. Now get over here with us, out of the training camp, over here into the theater of war. This is the real thing. We're heading for action, toting the same weapons over the back-breaking mountains and through the heart-breaking mud. Recognize this one in his battle dress? Long time. Looks plenty big with all his attachments, doesn't he? But don't stick your chest out too far. The Nazis have some pretty swell guns of their own. Oh, we've been promised even bigger firepower. It's on the way now. But out here, you don't wait on promises. You go to work with what you have. Move them up under the range of the enemy artillery. Any minute you and the guns can be blasted into dust. But you baby them into position. Bed them down. Tuck them in. You even give them pet names like you're in your own backyard. And all the other weapons move up. 155 howitzer, 75 howitzer. Medium tanks, Shermans, packing 50 caliber machine guns and 75 millimeter cannons. Climbing a mile up and down for every mile forward. Tank destroyers with 105s and trucks and half tracks. Some getting hit. And the rest pushing on, hoping replacements get here in time to keep us up to battle strength. The Germans match us weapon for weapon and every gun counts. Objective, town in a valley. Routine operation. Soften them up with a barrage, then attack with tanks and infantry. Orders, burn up our artillery to save tanks and infantry. Pay for the town with shells instead of our lives. comes the surprise package. The gun that caught up with us over here. Get a load of this baby. A new 240 millimeter howitzer. Takes two armored tractors to lug it around and a crane mounted on a 20 ton truck to emplace it. And plenty of muscle tearing to dig it in and set up housekeeping. But all 32 tons of it was certainly worth waiting for. We well, hear some of you war workers back home waited for it, too. Waited until your machines were retooled to turn it out. Well, a cutback like that puts us ahead out here. 20 miles ahead. Every time we ram one of its 300-pound shells down the throats of the Jerry's, 20 miles away, we feel we got a Sunday punch to trade with their big stuff. Jerry's have orders to hold. We have orders to push. So we push. Here's how our battle position looks to the enemy. Everything's hidden, camouflaged, except the flashes of our guns, spitting out the only language our enemy understands. Our tanks and tank destroyers creep down into the valley, close enough for 75s and 105s to score.
mortars. 4.2s. Pound the Jerry frontline positions. watch us shatter their homes into a pile of gravel and German graves. And they help us, tell us where most of the Nazis are dug in, so we can rub them out faster. Behind our tanks, we move in on foot with rifles and carbines for the close work. We enter the town, what's left of it, with mine detectors, mops to sweep for the bouncing babies and the teller mines. With Springfields to flush the snipers. <coughs> Until street by street, house by house, Another town is ours. That's firepower. Your firepower. Get what I mean? And then comes the payoff to this battle and every battle. Out of holes and caves and from their crumpled dugouts crawl the rightful people of this place. still dazed by the terror that has ravaged their homes. Yet even as they mourn their losses, these people try to welcome our boys, offering the wine they've hidden from the Germans. For the terror of our shells has driven out the greater terror, slavery and the German invader. Yes, this is the real effect of your weapon. Your weapons free places, bring back hope, restore peace and dignity to people oppressed. This is what you accomplish, making enough firepower to lift the world up from slavery. This is the promise of a better world to come. This is the final effect of your weapons.